Hey, Facebookers, Chef Nash here. Not wearing my apron today. Don't, not feeling it. Um, I'm making a whole chicken and vegetables today, but I've already done all the prep and got it going, so you guys are a little late into it. It's my own fault. I didn't want to get live quite yet. I was too sidetracked. Anyway, so I'm going to show you guys what I've got going on here. So right here we've got our whole chicken. I've already marinated it, and I used my injectable needle to, with marinade, with, to marinate it. Um, I just kind of made my own marinade. I used some butter, some oil, and different seasonings and stuff. But we've got all of our vegetables. I've got butternut squash in there, zucchini, mushrooms, green beans, carrots. Mmm, it's gonna be good. So basically, I just inject the breasts and the thighs and the wings and then the undercarriage as well. And then we let it sit for about 10, 15, about a half hour. Uh, well, with, the, with all the marinade inside of it, and then I prepped all my veggies, um, cheated, used sliced mushrooms and carrot chips this time, fresh green beans, yes, yummy, and we used butternut squash from Walmart in a bag, but it'll cook beautifully. So once that is done and all prepped and everything, I threw some more butter and seasonings into my, into down in there, not too much to where it pools at the bottom, but just enough to where it cooks into there. We're going to put it in the oven at um, 425 for the first 15 minutes. That's what gives you the crispiness on the outside and everything. Um, side note, if you want to crisp your crust on the chicken, you put salt on it and refrigerate it and overnight with salt on the outside of it. it kind of gets dries it out and gives it crispiness. And then after that, you let it sit out at the room temperature for about 30 minutes. After that, this is if you refrigerate it overnight with salt on it, uncovered. But I did not. Um, so I'm just kind of going to put it in the oven for 25, first 15 minutes, and then we're going to drop it down to 375. And let it cook for about 50 to 60 minutes until the internal temperature reaches 165. Um, I will update pictures and such once it's finished. Sorry this isn't a very long video today, but if you guys have any questions, go ahead and throw them down in the comments, um, and I'll go ahead and answer them. Um, other than that, have a good day, and I'll see you guys later.